Welcome to the High Power Fiber Laser Laboratory at IIT Madras. We are in the Electrical Engineering Department. Today we are going to talk about uh, coherent beam combining. So what is coherent beam combining? We are essentially looking at scaling the output power that is available from a fiber laser. As uh, you may know, uh, fiber lasers are very good uh, sources of uh, high quality light beams, high power light beams. And, uh, but, but unfortunately, with one fiber laser, you can, you are limited to about a kilowatt of power level. So if you want to scale to hundreds of kilowatts of power levels, you uh, can turn to coherent beam combining, which is a promising pathway to achieving this uh, power level. Uh, so how do we achieve coherent beam combining? What we do is we take a master oscillator, which is uh, typically a narrow line with uh, a laser source, a semiconductor laser source, split it into multiple okay, parts camera, here yeah. just for the sake of uh, uh, proof of principle. I am showing it as so it's split into two parts. And then you can go through a phase manipulator. I will talk about why we need a phase manipulator in a second. But then you go through uh, high power amplification. So you may have only tens of milliwatts of power, but uh, through each of these amplifiers, you can amplify to kilowatts of power. And then the challenge is can, how can you combine both these uh, 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 you know, light sources to achieve multiple kilowatts of power. Um, one key aspect of this is that you need to be able to have both these sources have the same optical phase. And uh, that is ensured by taking a part of the beam uh, in, uh, and, and, and going through a feedback loop through which you can, uh, based on the intensity that you have collected here, you can manipulate the phase of the individual arms and so that both these uh, sources are locked in phase. And once they are locked in phase, then you can uh, essentially have, uh, if, if this is one kilowatt, this is another kilowatt, then you can have up to two kilowatts of power uh, coming out. So that's what we are trying to demonstrate as far as uh, this project is concerned. Um, so these kilowatt light sources are currently being uh, developed. So in the meantime, what we have done is we have gone on to a setup where instead of those high power amplifiers, we are incorporating low power amplifiers. And uh, uh, so essentially we start from uh, a narrow line with source, low power source, few tens of milliwatts, split them into two parts, uh, go through uh, uh, two phase ma manipulating elements, then go through the amplifier, then we are combining them. So that's what we are trying to do here and, and, and we are taking part of the output feeding back through a controller and uh, then manipulating the phase so that we can maximize the output. And uh, we are doing all of this using this uh, experimental setup here. So this is our narrow line width laser, which is emitting about a few tens of milliwatts of power. Uh, we are going through a, a, a power splitter over here, which splits it into two arms. These are the phase manipulating elements. And the output of those is coming through uh, two collimators over here. And this is our beam combining element, which is just essentially a beam, beam uh, combiner or beam splitter, uh, uh, a free space beam splitter. So both these beams, so one beam going straight down, another beam going to the beam combiner, and then getting deflected over here. Both are combining, and then we have a detector over here, which is uh, representing the total beam. So if you look at the oscilloscope screen ah, over here, you see that the output is wildly fluctuating. Uh, that is because the, the phase of these two arms are not synchronized with respect to each other. And, uh, uh, and that is because the feedback loop is not closed uh, right now. So this is the feedback loop. Part of this output is uh, going through uh, this, this circuitry over here. This is actually uh, what is called a red Pitaya controller board. And uh, through that controller board, we are actually generating some voltages, which is fed back into that phase manipulator over there. Um, so Padmanabhan here uh, is a project associate that is uh, working on uh, doing all this control circuitry. So he's going to now turn on the controller. And then immediately after that, what we will see is that the output is, 
is going to be ah, stabilized. Turn it on now. So right now we just turned on the controller, Hello. and you can see that ah, the wildly sure. fluctuating ah, so output now uh, is all stabilized uh, into uh, in, into uh, a much uh, uh, you know higher output. So it, 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 it's 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 uh, stabilized to the maximum output that's possible. And of course, you can uh, now what I can do is I can tap on this, and I can create perturbations. And what's remarkable is, even though I've created all these perturbations, it comes back to the maximum output automatically. That's through the feedback loop, the real-time feedback that we are having. And that's actually a demonstration of coherent beam combining. Where we are going from here is we're going to incorporate these one kilowatt amplifiers inside this loop and demonstrate this, uh, this beam combining, which in the future can scale up to eight amplifiers or maybe 32 amplifiers and maybe even at some day uh, more than 100 amplifiers so that we can achieve 100 kilowatts and above through this uh, coherent beam combining technique. Thank you.